It'll be one to go this time, by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. We are now joined by uh, Greg Biffle. Driver of the number 16 3M Ford, third in the points. Uh, joining us in the media center now. Uh, winner right out of the box last week in the first chase race at New Hampshire. Uh, currently third in the points and one win, he one win here at Dover. Greg, thanks for joining us. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your start in the chase and then anticipation for the weekend here at Dover? Well, I knew that, uh, I knew that you know, the chase was going to be a. Uh, uh, something fun for us and it was going to be tough and you know we we struggled to make make it uh in you know we had uh but the last five races leading up to the chase were really good for us and i knew we had some momentum going in and and that uh we were going to use a lot of focus and in, in, on the 10 races and do the best we can and uh, obviously at loudon we uh had a really really good car and uh got got track position um you know, throughout the race, just just uh, worked our way to the front and was able to uh, um, make a pass on Jimmy Johnson toward the end of the race there. We got a uh, caution flag, grouped the field up, and was able to hold him off for 15 laps for the win. So it was, uh, it was a great week for us. And uh, just looking forward to, really, really was looking forward to this as my first chase race uh, with my first opportunity to win. So uh, I feel like uh, hopefully I'll be here in a couple of days uh, talking about uh, Dover, but uh, we got to get out there and qualify today and get the car right for tomorrow and uh, see what we can do on Sunday. All right, questions for Greg Biffle. We've got the wireless. Please give us your name and affiliation, and we'll bring the wireless to you. Let's start with Tom. Greg, Tom Jensen, SpeedTV.com. This week there was a tire test in Atlanta. Kyle Busch got to participate in it, and two non-chase cars got to participate in it. You were at the Darlington tire test, I believe, earlier this year. Yeah. You ran really well. How much of an advantage... Being in the tire test, does that give you, and how much of an issue is it having one chase car and two non-chase cars in a tire test for the chase? Well, it's, uh, I, I think it's a pretty big, uh, significant deal. Um, I, I've, if my, I've got a really bad memory, and uh, if my memory serves me correctly, that they uh, said that they wouldn't use chase cars to do tire testing once the chase started. Um, so maybe my memory doesn't isn't serving me correctly because uh, that, that's perfectly possible. But I thought that that was uh, what I was told. But uh, I could be wrong from that. But it does give you somewhat of an advantage, certainly. Um, and I think Darlington was probably more so than maybe Atlanta because uh, Darlington was a brand new repave, and nobody had ever seen the surface before. So uh, we had a couple hundred laps on it. Uh, or, or maybe 100 laps. So that probably was a bigger deal than, than getting to do a tire test at Atlanta uh, for Kyle. So, uh, But no doubt it will, uh, it will help them because they had test data, I'm sure, on the car and were able to gather some information uh, for going back. Back in the back here, Kenny Bruce. Yeah, Greg, Kenny Bruce with NASCAR Scene. You You've been in the chase before. Is there anything that you remember from your previous appearance there that you guys want to try to do this time or maybe try to avoid this time? Um, yeah, there are, uh, there are several little things, I think, uh, that, uh, you know, you learn w w when you're in the chase. Uh, and, and it's nothing, uh, I don't think it's anything significant or any one thing I could talk about, but there are... Uh, uh, several things that uh that play issues uh along the way and uh you know i just uh i'm thinking about that what what mistakes small mistakes i may have made last time and what i'm going to need to do this time to be able to win the the championship and not be 35 points short when we get to homestead so uh hopefully it's the other way around 35 points to the good and uh just several uh i think small things how we execute the weekend um how we execute pit road and and uh, all those things. Other questions for Greg? Uh, Dan Galson, the Associated Press. Uh, Greg, um, are you a big believer in uh, you know momentum and, and carrying over one race right into the next, or, or does each one you know go separately for you? Can, you know how much can last week really help this week? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a big believer in momentum, and I feel that's why we started the chase so strong. Um, you know, you got you have to have confidence, and uh, you got to have confidence in your team, your crew, uh, er- everything that's your your equipment. And uh, right now, we have a lot of confidence that uh, we've got great equipment and good good guys. Um, our guys are working as hard as, as they ever have, and, and so am I behind the wheel to get my cars uh, perfect uh, or as good as I can get them. So, yeah, I, I believe in, uh, I certainly believe in momentum. Greg, Steve Post, Sirius NASCAR Radio, MRN Radio. Uh, a couple years ago, you talked about coming up 35 points short, and I think it's easy in our sport to say, well, we'll get them next year. Uh, you had a couple years off from not being in the chase. Talk about being back in the chase and your sense of urgency in the chase because you're one of the guys that knows that there may not be a next year. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's certainly uh, it was certainly disappointing in 2006 and seven to make the ch- uh, to miss the chase. Um, very thankful for the opportunity to make the chase in 2008. The guys have did, done a wonderful job, and uh, we were able to get here. Now, you're right. It, it is our time. To uh, our time is now. We've got nine more races to uh, to close the deal, and uh, we're focused, dedicated, mentally, physically prepared to uh, give it our our best for uh, nine more weeks. Anything else for Greg? Well, uh, one more here, Yanni WBOC TV. Um, nine out of the twelve drivers have won here at Dover. What does that say about this track? I mean, is everyone on the same playing field? Uh, how does everyone's past success translate to this weekend? Well, certainly uh, past success, you know, that momentum thing, you know, you feel like you can um, win or be successful at places you've won in the past. And, and uh, we've got the last two times here, we've got a second and a third. And, uh, of course, Kyle won the first race of the spring race here So when we finished third. So it's... Uh, it's uh, it's a tough racetrack, very tough racetrack, very physically, mentally demanding the whole the whole race, 400 laps. But um, past success certainly uh, has a lot to do with it, and uh, I feel like um, you know you see elite number of drivers run good here, and and uh, because the place is so tough. Yeah, Greg, uh, there was a lot of talk with Jimmy earlier in the last week about Dale Jr. and Rick Hendrick kind of trying to talk him off the ledge with communication. Have you ever used a sports psychologist at all uh, to help you as a driver? Uh, I haven't. Um, I, I haven't done that. Um, but I, I I sort of feel like, it uh, sounds, uh, I guess, stupid, but I sort of feel like I've done that myself in the last uh, four or five weeks getting ready for the chase. Uh, just, you know, when you get time or you're sitting there thinking about you know, you go through the ten races of what you have to do in order to win the championship, and and you think about it, and uh, you kind of mentally prepare yourself for what's going to take place in the next ten weeks and nine weeks, and what you know, sort of you run through, you know, the mistakes you've made in the past and what what not to do. You know, uh, you're you're going to jump from that curb to that curb, but this curb's wet. You know, uh, you know, I got to make sure I don't slip when I'm jumping off this one, you know, you just got to go through all those things and say, you know, I'm not going to do that. You kind of got to play all the cards. and and uh, But I, I've never consulted somebody that of that nature. 